Do we live in the matrix? Do we live in a simulation? Is this all just a computer AI thing? Do we live in the multiverse? Right? Oh, it could be this, says uh, Time Magazine or whatever defunct uh, media outlet feeding the masses garbage might have. Why don't we live in the simulation? How, how can I prove that we don't? Well, first, I can't prove it. You got me. I can't prove that we don't live in a simulation. But here's the statistics and why the statistics that they give you are wrong. All right, it's pretty simple, really. They say, oh, well, you know, if there is a such thing as technology being able to replicate reality, basically, right, then it has been done. And if it has been done millions of times, then they've probably run a gajillion simulations. And therefore, there's a gajillion simulations. And since you can't tell the difference between reality and a simulation, right, when you're in the simulation, then the likelihood of us being in a simulation is incredibly high. And it's a very low chance that we're not, since there's undoubtedly a gajillion simulations, right? On the surface, that does make sense. And to its own self, it does make sense. But it only makes sense in reference to um, you know, simulations. <clears throat> the thing is, it's an infinite amount. And infinity, unfortunately, is not a real number. <clears throat> All right, it is. It means infinity. It goes forever. There, there's no stop. It's not a gajillion. It's infinite. A gajillion's a big number. Infinite is not a number. It's infinity. All right. So, out of the infinity, there might be a gajillion chances that we live in a simulation. Sure. A gajillion out of infinity is a drop in the bucket. Because there's also a gajillion chances that we live in a multiverse, which would not be a simulation. It'd be a multiverse, which is different, like a parallel dimension in movies and whatnot, right? Or we live in a wormhole. Or solipsism, guess what? It's correct. There's a gajillion percent chance, or not percent, gazil, gajillion, right? My made-up number. Very, very large, a Googleplex of uh, possibilities that this exists. But it is not a percentage. It's a possibility. Possibility being finite. I'll put it to you like this. Yes, in a multiverse, there's a lot of universes. A lot, right? If, if it's correct, then there's a lot of them. But it's not infinity. Because time exists. Right. Therefore, every single action only has so many different actions that can be taken in the set amount of time in which the universe began and will cease to exist. Therefore, while the number is very large, the number of AIs that could have been created, the number of multiverses that could have been created, it's a very large number, but it's not infinite. Infinite is infinite. A large number is not infinite. A large number, if you scale out, is just a drop in the ocean. So the chances of, of being in there are very slow, very low, because um, there's also a bajillion, gajillion, Googleplex, Baza Bazuzu uh, number of possibilities. Notice I use number of possibilities of us living in any anything you can think of, and then a, a, a million, billion, gajillion things you can't think of, right? So what we must do is obvious. Use what information we can obtain to try and figure out what this whole thing is, right? And based on the research, it seems that there's just this one universe. It could be wrong, but there's just this one. And it came from nothing? No, it came from something outside of the universe, right? Because it has a beginning. So whatever is outside of time and space created both time and space simultaneously, thus the creation of the universe. If you want to call that God, Allah, Vishnu, or uh, he who shall not be named, it doesn't matter. 
okay? If you want to think of it as a concept, as, as an alien, as, as, as whatever you want to think, male, female, whatever, non-gender, non-binary, it's a piece of glass, who knows, right? But we at least got that much from the obvious fact that we exist, right? I'm not going to go into anything else except that the idea that we live in a simulation, while interesting, is almost certainly not true.